Good morning. It is Thursday, December 6th, I believe. 2018. And uh, I'm going to do a cold start video on the Legacy. I got one that I did down in Las Vegas a couple years ago. You know, and uh, it was a chilly morning, but today the temperature, it, a car is reading right now, says negative 11. Now the air temperature outside is like 10. That's the ambient temperature. But the car's been sitting for a little over a week, hasn't ran. Now I'd done a uh, oil change on it. So it's got AMS oil, signature series synthetic. I've also uh, put in the AMS oil dominator coolant boost and uh, to the uh, coolant system. So battery still works, so that's good. It's got a new battery in it, so I expected that to work. What we're gonna do is we'll go ahead and do a uh, take a look at the uh, engine. Pop the hood here. We'll get a uh, temperature reading on the engine. Alright, so there's the uh, it is. Let's get a shot down here. That's the head. This is negative 12. Let's see on this side. What we get negative 12 uh, down there in the uh, top of the block. Negative 11. So it's a little chilly. Alright, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and uh, get inside. There it is. Start it up. Now that wine. Now let me get my glove back on here. That wine is power steering pump, and it's uh. It's reading negative 11. Power steering has not been switched over to AMS oil on this end yet. I'm gonna do that, but uh, so that's whatever factory had put in there uh, or previous owners had put in there. But uh, that's a cold start. And I say that was a cold start. Uh, the head is already warmed up to uh, Negative five, so it's warming up quickly. The top of the block, it's warming up nicely. See on this side, yeah, coming up. So, the intake manifold, still reading negative 10 degrees. Give a little throttle blurp here. You see the top of the radiator is reading really negative nine. It's been running for just probably not even a minute yet.
We're up to zero on the uh, head. Left side is being the same, so we're pretty consistent. One of the things in this cold temperature that's happened in the past is these fuel lines will uh, shrink and they'll uh, leak a little fuel until it warms up. But looking, I'm not seeing any of that and I'm not smelling any uh, fuel. But uh, it's warming up nicely. I think it sounds pretty good. But one of the things that's a uh, dominator, three degrees. Seven degrees. One of the things dominator is uh, engineered for is not just uh, cold or uh, warm, helping to keep it to running a little bit cooler uh, with the uh, coolant, but actually in cold, it's got a second in a second level of engineering that's added to it that most coolant uh, additives don't, which actually helps it to warm up. Uh, it. Uh, the way it's designed, it uh, allows it to uh, better transfer of heat, both uh, when it's warm and when it's cold. So in cold temperatures, it'll warm up quicker. You see the top of the block's already warming up. It's about 10 degrees, 8 degrees over here, and 12 degrees. So, Ladies and gentlemen, that is my little demonstration of how well or benefits of uh, AMS oil fluids signature series 5W30, as well as the Dominator coolant boost. very cold temperatures thanks for watching take care and if you're uh, interested in purchasing any of these products uh, check out the links below in the description below